This is timber owned by Tony and Kelsey Rzitska of Belfouche, South Dakota. And what I'm setting them up here for is what I call a ladder drill, which means the deadfalls are spread out vertically. And you need space in between them because <clears throat> the goal is for him to pick up the first one he comes to and bring that back with not overrunning it. Fetch. Here. <clears throat> good girl. Good boy. Boy, Timmer, sit. Drop. Fetch. Here. This last one's probably, oh, 80 yards. Here. Heel. Sit. Drop. Sit. Fetch. It's actually in the shadow out there, so he's probably not, there he goes, he saw it. <clears throat> so that's about 80 yards. Like I said, this is one of the more advanced drills, because um, it kind of puts everything together. These are a little slippery, kind of wet out. Heel. Sit. Good boy. Drop. Sit. Then I'm going to do what's called a pile drill. Basically what that means is there's multiple objects in one spot. So it's important that I maintain him staying in that sit position. And these can vary on length. You know, I mean, depending on what you have for space. But the key here is spreading them out. You know, probably 8, 10 feet apart like that. <clears throat> so when he grabs one if he wants to switch which means run to one of the other ones and drop the one he has I want to have time to get him pulled in through the collar sit fetch don't care which one he gets but it's more about when he gets one that he's heading in here that a boy heel sit drop fetch And off the pile drill, here, I can go into a couple of these other diversion drills. Heel, sit, drop, fetch. So I'm going to take one of them, throw it behind me, so it's not right by me. Heel. So this would be called a sit, hold, throw drill. Sit. He's holding it. As I take it, drop, sit, timber. And now I'm going to release him on his name. Anytime I throw one, I always try first to release him on his name. His name does not mean fetch. Heel. His name just means you can go. Sit. Hold. <clears throat> Drop. Timber. Here. Like I said, it's all about the finish of the retrieve regardless of you know what else is going on sit I'll do one more and you can throw those as far as you want drop timber I'm not throwing them too far because I want you to be able to see here and this is a throw over drill so as I tell him heel I'm throwing it so the concept here is whatever's in his mouth needs to come in first drop timber so when he gets it First it's here, but when I say heel, which means finish, that's when I throw it. Good boy, sit. Every once in a while, hold. Drop, sit, timber. So I'll do one more of these. Here. This one I'll throw basically right over them. Heel. Good boy. Drop, timber. Every once in a while, fetch. I'll throw that in there just to let them know I want. That's what I need them to do. Go get it. Heel. Now this double drill, sit, drop, <clears throat> is to work on a few things. The main thing is he's maintaining sitting in my side. So I'll tell him sit. Throw one to my left, 
one to my right. And I don't care which one he gets first. Timber. But the key to this one is, as he comes in, this one off to my left, I'll actually line him up. So I'll tell him heel, take a step towards that one so he's already lined up. Drop. Timber. And send him right out there. <clears throat> so this would be called a double drill. And actually you can do throw more than two if you'd like, but it's it's based off creating two objects. Drop. Sit. Timber. Here. She got a pretty nice cool morning. It's in the 40s, so feels pretty good. It's a little dew on the ground though. Heel. And actually, t Timber is um, from a breeder in Custer, South Dakota. Flying S Retrievers. They're just north of Custer. Drop. Timber. He has a Silver Lab. Um, so now, heel. I'm going to throw him a couple fun ones. And what the, the idea here is, drop, is I'm going to release them. And the word I use to release them is, okay, okay, okay. So when I throw these, of course you're going to get a lot more adrenaline, you know, excitement to go. But it's always come in, shut the motor off, heel, sit, good boy. And I should be able to pat him while he maintains that. Drop. Okay. Do one more. <clears throat> and the fun throws, you know, you got to be a little careful on these, um, depending on the conditions. You know, if it's slippery, icy, that's when they can hurt themselves. So, heel. Sit. Good boy. Drop. So, that'd be some of the foundation force fetch drills I first teach these dogs. And then, of course, from here, I'll either transition into the water um, but eventually we'll you know you'd want to transition to ducks and pheasants